Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We know that a small change in the structure of a metal can fairly cause a huge loss. These changes can be due to any reason and needs to be continuously monitored. Well, monitoring an equipment continuously could be a little too tedious and practically might sound impossible. But this has been made achievable by eddy current sensors. To monitor our machines continuously for unwanted expansions, we use eddy current sensors. These are small sensors that are used in our machines that continuously monitor any unwanted thermal expansions. Eddy current was discovered by Leon Foucault in 1855. To understand eddy current sensors, let's take a conductor. If we pass an alternating current through it, the conductor develops an alternating magnetic field around it. Now let's bring another conductive metal around the conductor. This metal now comes within the changing magnetic field of the first conductor. Due to the changing magnetic field, a current is induced into the metal that is placed around it. These currents are known as eddy currents. Eddy current is defined as a current that is induced in a conductive metal due to a changing magnetic field in the conductor. These eddy currents flow in closed loops and its direction is perpendicular to the magnetic field. The production of eddy currents can be explained by Faraday's law of induction. Faraday's law of induction describes how an electrical conductor produces a magnetic field and how this changing magnetic field induces an electric current in the conductor around it. The metal now has developed eddy currents. Like any current carrying conductor, the metal will develop a magnetic field of its own. This distorts the magnetic field of the source responsible for their production, which results in the superimposition of the two magnetic fields. As the distance between the two metals changes, it results in a change in the magnetic field of the coil and hence the amplitude of the alternating current changes. This change in amplitude is proportional to the distance between the coils. The relation between the change of amplitude as the magnetic field changes is employed in wind turbines for continuous monitoring in its bearings. The wind turbines essentially have two main bearings on which the rotor shaft runs, a pitch bearing and a yaw bearing. These bearings need continuous monitoring for safety and cost reasons. A reduction in bearing gap would mean that the oil film has also reduced, which will lead to an increase in friction. This would lead to an increase in temperature inside the bearing. To avoid this, frequent inspections were carried out initially. But even after that, failure arose. Today, this monitoring is done by eddy current sensors that can detect the slightest change in bearing gap, thus avoiding any damage to the structure due to decrease in bearing gap. Eddy current sensors are relatively small in size and can detect the smallest change in distance. This makes them useful for measuring thickness of sheet metals in roller gaps, machine tool monitoring, final assembling of precision equipment such as disc drives. The reasons why eddy current sensors are used in important industrial processes are because they have high temperature stability, they are capable of operating at a pressure up to 4000 bars and they are resistant to dirt and oil. However, eddy current sensors have a few drawbacks. The metal whose testing is to be done using eddy current sensor should be highly conductive in nature and the gap between the two metals should be small enough to get an accurate output. Well, that's all about eddy current sensors. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Until the next one, bye.